Hi, I'm Dr. Karen Dina, and today we are going to answer a commonly asked question. Does our body release all types of digestive enzymes at the same time? This is an excellent question, and it's oftentimes asked in the context of food combining. So let's take a look. First of all, the information that we're going to talk about in this presentation is supported by current digestive enzyme science. Our body makes three main types of digestive enzymes. Amylase for carbohydrate digestion, proteases for protein digestion, and lipase for fat digestion. Now, depending on where we are in the digestive system, our body will secrete certain types of digestive enzymes. For example, when we are chewing food, our salivary glands release saliva. And along with that, they secrete two different types of digestive enzymes, salivary amylase for carbohydrate digestion and lingual lipase for fat digestion. So carbohydrate and fat digestion get started in the mouth. Now, after food has been chewed, it moves down the esophagus, after we swallow it, into the stomach. And there, the food comes in contact with other digestive factors, such as hydrochloric acid and a protein digesting enzyme called pepsin. So protein digestion gets started in the stomach. Now, after food leaves the stomach, it goes into the small intestine. And when it's in the small intestine, the pancreas secretes digestive factors, including three different types of digestive enzymes, amylase for carbohydrate digestion, protease for protein digestion, and lipase for fat digestion. And it releases these types of enzymes all at the same time. Now, why is it that the pancreas releases all three types of enzymes at the same time? We don't know for sure, but we do know that the food that we eat is some combination of carbohydrate, protein, and fat. Now, there are definitely some exceptions. One of them would be oil, which is 100% fat. The other one here is certain types of carbohydrate-based sweeteners, which can be 100% carbohydrate. Now, if we're eating a plant-based diet, here are some of the things that we might be eating. First of all, over here in this column, I've got the type of food. In this column, I've got carbohydrate, and this one has protein, and this one has fat. So let's take a look. As we can see here, fruit is about 89% of the calories from carbohydrate, 6% fat, and 5% protein. Now, some people are really surprised to see that fruit contains some protein, and it definitely does. It's good to know that. Uh, vegetables, 73% carbohydrate, 18% protein, and 9% fat. As you can see, vegetables overall have more protein than fruit. Nuts and seeds, 16% carbohydrate, 11% protein, and 73% fat. Legumes, 66% carbohydrate, 30% protein, and 4% fat. Grains, 80% carbohydrate, 12% protein, and 8% fat. Oil, as we mentioned earlier, 100% fat. Avocados, 19% carbohydrate, 5% protein, and 76% fat. Coconuts, 17% carbohydrate, 4% protein, 79% fat. And then spirulina down here, 26% carbohydrate, 64% protein, and 10% fat. So as you can see, most of the foods on this chart are some combination of carbohydrate, protein, and fat. So it's very important that our body make all three types of digestive enzymes. And in the case of the pancreas, release all three types at the same time so that these foods can be well digested. For those of you interested in learning more about our educational opportunities and our lab work and nutrition consulting services, please contact us through our website at rawfoodeducation.com.